Hi everyone, back for the next exciting part of our course with our alley drop shipping. This video is going to show us how to actually place the orders with AliExpress once we've received them, and believe me, you will. The first thing that'll happen is you'll get an email saying that someone has placed an order. You'll then log into your WordPress backend. Scroll down on the left hand side to Ali Dropship and click on that and then go to orders. Okay, you'll see a few here. This is just where I've been testing this to make sure it works. The one we're going to process is this top one. So before we can do that, you also need to be logged into AliExpress. Obviously, if you're going to um, be placing your orders through AliExpress, you need to be logged in. So got the page here I'll just click sign in okay so we need to set up and make sure we have a way for Aliexpress to charge us for anything we purchase on the site obviously uh, we have to pay so it's really quite simple to do if you come across here to my Aliexpress this little tab on the right hand side and click on my Aliexpress we'll get this silly uh, pop-up we'll get rid of that for now come across here and hold on the tab again it says hi Ian scroll down here to my alley pay this is where you can manage your cards when you do this the first time you'll need to go through the normal process of setting up a, an account it'll you'll start to put in your details and then it'll send you a confirmation email you go through and click on that you come in and then you need to set up some security questions and a pin number etc once you've done that, you'll and then log in, you'll see this screen. If we come up here to the top toolbar, settings, and open it up, and then click on manage your cards. You can see I've got one already set up there. That's the one I use for everything. You can add a card, you can remove existing cards, etc. Very, very simple, easy to do. So once you've got that set up, we're ready to go. So I'll shut that down and we'll come back to AliExpress. Make sure we're logged on. We are beautiful. Now we come back to our order page. Really, really simple process that works 99% of the time. So we go to our latest order and just hold your mouse over this little magnifying glass next to the email of the person who's purchased from you. So we'll click on that, which opens the order up in a new tab. So what you see here is what's been ordered. So we've got a little wooden ruler for $1.45 plus shipping, total of $2.94. Over here is a summary so an ID for the order transaction number it was paid via PayPal and who's purchased it so obviously I'm gonna have some of this blurred out because it's got some personal details in it but the easy thing to do is place click on this big green button here that says place order automatically and as long as you're logged into Aliexpress this is about as hard as it's going to get. Now, this is set up in our uh, Ali Dropship settings, so it just tells them we are drop shipping. Please don't include any invoices or promo materials in the packing. We're just waiting for it to process. You can see the little wheel here spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. Down here, adding product. Normally only takes five or 10 seconds. So the product has been added. It is still checking, checking the shipping cart. Boom, it's now taking us through to the AliExpress order page. Really, really simple. Just wait for it to finish loading everything up. Nearly there. Okay, and now you see the big green bar across the top that says completed. So it went through perfectly fine. Uh, and it, over here it has your 
shipping information of the per the name of the person and their address, everything. And if you scroll down, you can see the shipping details. On this one, it's defaulted to e-packet shipping, so we don't want that. I want free shipping. So we click on that and hit OK. It'll re recalculate things. So we've now got what's been ordered, the quantity, the price. It's come in by China Post Ordinary Small Packet Delivery for a total of $1.07, which will be charged to the credit card that is in Alipay. Here, you can see that. So we're happy with all that. And all you do then is click Confirm and Pay. Goes through. Okay, it's going to ask me every now and then it will do this. It'll ask you to re enter your card. So when that pops up, you just do it. Good little security measure that pops up every so often. Doesn't do it all the time. Boom! Thank you for your payment. All done. That's it. So I've just spent a dollar and seven cents to purchase that item, and we got two dollars ninety-four for it. So not nothing to get too excited about, but it's something. And this is just a, a demo sale to show you how to go through the process. Very very simple. If we now come back to orders, so that's all been done. We can shut that down now come back to and click on orders on the left hand side and we can now go and update that we have processed that order so that every day we come in and have a look at all these when things are shipped you'll get a notification it's been shipped and update those accordingly and the default emails that we set up earlier will so as soon as you update that to shipped, it will automatically send out an email to your customer saying, hey, Ian, your item has now been shipped. It'll be there. You should see it in three weeks. So very, very simple, very, very powerful, easy process. Now, the next thing, so we've not only made that profit, just want to remind you, we're also getting an AliExpress affiliate commission. So I'll just pause this for a sec while I go to that page and bring that up and show you how that works. Okay, so I've logged into my Admitted um, account now for this website from my cute stationery. And you can see here when I'm at my dashboard, these graphs and the blue is showing clicks, so it's registered the click yet, but it hasn't quite picked up the revenue from that transaction. It takes a day or so to do that. If we want to turn off everything and just have a look at revenue, so we click off actions, clicks, and impressions, you can see there all that's left is earnings. And if you move your mouse along, so here on Saturday the 4th of Feb where I was playing around do it, testing everything out to make sure it was working uh, put a small order through and earned 13 cents whoopee do who cares 13 cents is peanuts but if you think about it this way once you've put through a thousand dollars worth of orders on AliExpress so you've spent a thousand dollars fulfilling orders you'll have generated 15 16 17 hundred dollars in revenue so you've made five six seven hundred dollars profit plus your eight percent affiliates so eight percent of a thousand is another eighty dollars so it's quite significant and will add up over time so that extra eighty bucks on top of your five or six hundred dollar um, profit becomes quite handy so definitely worth doing at the end of the day this is money for nothing uh, absolute money for nothing you don't have to do anything except create your account and add that tracking link into the uh, header information on your website so money for jam money for nothing really really cool i love getting money for nothing 
So in summary, we've gone through today and looked at how to place an order on AliExpress once you have received an order. One thing I can guarantee you, if you've never made money online, the day you get your first order email sent through automatically, you will never forget that day. I still don't, you know, I remember the day I made my first money online. It's very, very exciting and it's, it's confirmation that this is real and it will work and it will work. That I can guarantee you. So on that note, we'll sign off and see you in the next video.